any more away than we have to. So I'm Dawn Green. I'm the superintendent of schools here, and I am certainly glad to see all of you here this evening. Again, I know it's hard to be away, especially when it's this cold, and it was like last night where it was a little snowy and windy. You know, maybe the turnout would have been as good. I know I don't like to go out in that, but um, I appreciate you coming. Thank you for being here. So tonight, um, I put in the e-news, and I know we put in the paper kind of what the format was going to be, but we wanted just to start with just telling you some things to help you identify a little bit more with our school district and our schools. So I'm just going to say a few things district-wide. Um, well, Mr. Nielsen didn't hurt himself on the chair. Um, and then I'm going to have each principal just talk for just a few minutes, each of them, about you know, what are some of the things that they're doing in their schools. Um, also tonight, we're going to have each of the board candidates introduce themselves. Just a brief introduction, no speeches or anything, but just an introduction of who they are and um, uh, a little bit about themselves or why they're running. Uh, Mr. Nielsen will talk about financial and referendum information. He is our school board president and has intimate knowledge of this, has been working on you know, the finances of the district for several years, even before I got here. Um, and then lastly, we'll have time for you to do questions and answers. And sometimes I know it's not always easy to ask a question out loud. Um, we do have surveys at the end. Um, so if you do want to ask uh, a question and have us just get back to you directly, rather than in the whole group, there's that possibility as well. Okay? So we're going to start with... Um, a little small here. Uh, communication. I just know that communication is, is something that's important to all of us. Um, my children's school started last year sending email every day that said what their homework was. Now they have a different school notification system and you can do that on there. We don't have that. I'd love to have it but it's the most expensive system out there. But it is great to get what that homework is every day um, but we do other things I, I know that the teachers uh, in our district do all kinds of things to you know keep keep people informed I know I myself try to do the e-newsletter every Friday and if you're not on that and would like to be on it please see me afterwards or put it on your survey what your email address is and happy to send you that um, the other ways I think that we communicate well is through our school reach program, which is just a, our, our phone notification system. That way we can notify you if anything's happening or uh, going on in the schools. And I know one thing that's top on everybody's mind right now is school safety, school security, and it's big on our minds as well. So I know I, I left several messages about that because you know people were calling and people had concerns about you know what, what are we going to do? What steps are we going to take? to make sure that we're maximizing our safety and security of our students here in Samana. I know the teachers do newsletters, teachers do websites, principal newsletters, each school has a website as well as the district website. Okay, those are all good places to get information. Of course, the number one place for communication is if you have a question, call the principal of that school or call me, or certainly you're welcome to call a school board member. Um, they can try to help you as well. Technology, just a little bit about what the district's doing because, you know, um, no one, I, we're, we're not alone. We are not alone in our financial difficulty. I mean, there might be a few districts out there that, that um, are still doing very well, but the majority of districts are in our same situation where they are really having to, you know, cut back and really watch um, more than ever where where the expenses are going because revenues have decreased everywhere not just here but everywhere and so at a time when revenues are decreasing and we're making you know we're tightening up our belts that also happens to be a time when there's this huge explosion of technology in schools and you know you, you can read an article about it every day about um, for your own device for one-to-one -one computing and you know what we're having kids do in the classroom on iPads or on you know computers. So I think that we are taking steps that we can within our budget to 
to um, enhance our technology. And the, the first thing we did is we got a more of a cool dark fiber, and that allows extensively more bandwidth to come through. One thing that, that frequently happens here is, um, or did happen, I should say, is you know, you, you'll just lose the internet. Um, or, you know, suddenly you're not getting, you know, your emails and that. And, and you know, we are in a world where, you know, somebody sends me an email, pretty much within a short time I'm going to respond back because, you know, that's just the world we live in right now. So um, this dark fiber um, is going to help us with that. It's, it's finally getting connected. And um, along with that, we're going to do some networking between Leland, Earlville, Sandwich, and us which we're going to share a lot of resource, teacher resources um, via that dark fiber. Um, Illini Cloud, another issue is storage. You know, where do you store everything? There were several times this year where um, emails just stopped because, quite simply, our um, storage capacity ran out. And so, you know, we, we go onto the Illini Cloud and store everything there. Um, bring your own device. We thought we'd just pilot that this year, and I know Mr. Schneider might talk about it a little bit more in the high school, but we're just going to pilot. Let's see how many of our kids would have their own device versus having to buy or rent, rent from the school. And so we bought these iPads, and to start with, you know, one or maybe even two classes where they had a lot of the same kids in those classes, and we only had out of like 30 students, one student who needed to, to rent the um, device. Everyone else had their own. So that kind of tells us, you know, we can start pushing forward a little bit more because people have the devices that they need, especially at the high school level. And of course, then we want to start working working our way down. JRW's had um, iPads in, in that school for a couple of years now. Again, starting to increase the, the number and what kids, you know, what we realize kids can do with it. Um, we needed to establish a wireless network. We got a, a grant last year to be able to do that throughout the buildings to give us wireless. Um, otherwise we you know, would have more difficulties going throughout the buildings and getting the internet. So those are some of the things that we're doing district-wide with technology. You may hear more from uh, the building principals. Um, I think probably our, our greatest thing that we do in this district, besides having wonderful, wonderful students, but we have a staff um, that likes to be here and wants to be here and does a phenomenal job. Uh, we have we have um, teachers that drive very, from very far away. I know one lives in Oregon and um, and we have lots of teachers that live in Aurora or Naperville or you know different places. They want to come here. They could go to a, a location that is an easier drive for them. They want to be here. They want to be here with our kids because we do have phenomenal kids. But just a, a quick thing about our teachers, 46 master's degree, doctorate, doctorates, and then um, thank you, Mr. Schneider, for adding up our number of years of experience, days and hours of experience. These are people that um, know about teaching and are good with your, your sons and daughters. Finally, we care about our students and our community. Um, you know, we just do a lot of things in this school that, that we all need to work on doing a better job of advertising. In my e-news or in the newspapers, we were always trying to you know, send things to the local papers. Just get it out there, phenomenal things that our kids do, whether it's, you know, maybe Ms. Spruce is gonna talk about this, but Jump Rope for Heart, you know, all the money that they've raised over the years, all the different things that they do uh, to raise money uh, for people in need, the, the, the blood drives that they have at the high school a couple times a year, the holiday meals, um, that Mrs. Coots, our guidance counselor here at the high school, and then every school does adopt a family and like a giving tree where they buy items for you know families in need. Um, shoe drives, clothing drives, we're doing a clothing drive. You can see a poster right back there on the wall. We're doing a clothing drive right now here at the high school. So I mean, we, we're doing a lot of good things, um, despite the fact that, that I know a lot of things that are, that are in the you know, the newspaper, a lot of things that we talk about, maybe at board meetings or things about the finances, you know, that's, we, we can't ignore that. But the truth of the matter is, is we're, we're continuing to try to do 
the best that we can, and, and, and thankfully we have students that go right along with that. We have a student here tonight who is videotaping. And, uh, you know, Mr. Schneider asked him if he videotaped, and sure, you know, uh, this summer he videotaped a lovely routine of Mr. Stryker and Mr. Snyder, uh, kind of an Olympics theme when we all came back to school and, you know, just kind of did an Olympics icebreaker, um, you know, seeing each other again and, and happy and to be back in August and things like that. I think you videotaped that as well, right? And that was wonderful production. So without further ado, I'm going to start with um, Chair Deputy. Okay.